Hi, my name is Kiza from Hypex Training Consultancy, and this is my Leads to Cash demonstration for NetSuite. Now, what I want to do today is to create a quote, convert it to a sales order, fulfill the sales order, and then change the fulfillment into the invoice. And after that, make a payment towards the invoice. Now, what I want to do here is to go to my roles and go to sales rep because that's where we're going to start. Now, when I get to sales rep, you can see that my dashboard changed into based on my roles. So you can see now I have my tasks at the left by the week, my reminders on the top, my est open estimates with the open quotations, uh, KPI and the phone calls that I have to make and follow up. Towards the bottom, you can see my navigation portlet loading and it's here. So from my navigation portlet, you can see I can go easily transition into my customer relationships, sales transactions, sales report and sales tools. So what I want to do now is to go to quotes so I can do it from my navigation portlet. Go down to quotes and we go to the quotation now quotation is open so the, this is our quote number what we want to do here is to add a new customer you can see we can either do it by through the list you can search it or, what, or you can just type it in here so let me type in Smith Supplies. Okay, so now I change it to Smith Supplies. Let's go down. You can see this is our forecasting. You can choose the opportunity, uh, closing, expiry. So when the quotes expire, the status of the quote, my probability. That you'll will be one, the forecast type, and the lead source of this quotation. Now, in the bottom, we can we do is to add an item. So I can add an item here. It's the same as your customer. You can either through the list or you can search it out. But now I want to add in the iPad. You can also add multiple if you have more. So I add this iPad, I can add one more, let's add another iPad, an iPad mini. So I added my iPad, iPad mini that follows the pricing level here. Is you can have multiple price level, but I for here this demonstration I will follow my list price. The tax code will follow the tax code of your country, for example Singapore, uh, Malaysia or Indonesia to name a few so let's go to the promotion you can add in any ongoing promotions <coughs> the billing terms where you see here there's a net 30 days billing term and the billing schedule I can put in the see the gross profit the shipping and the activities which is whether uh, to be printed or email, it will arrive to email or fax, it will fax directly here. And also so the customer center where the customer will have a portal for them to enter. Now, what, let's save and print. So there's a few options here actually, save and save a new, save an email. So what I want to do is to save and print so I can show you the invoice that's created ok sorry I mean the quotation not the invoice this will be the quotation that is sent to your client now we already created our quote so what we want to do now actually is to convert it into a sales order that we can do right here if 
your workflow consists of uh, approval in this stage there's an approval list you can approve here before converting but for this demonstration we can just go straight to the sales order the approval might need to be made by the sales manager So now we created our sales order. This is our sales order number 187. So what I want to go first is our form. As you can see here, our primary sales order form. This means that is a this is the intercompany form. What I want to do is to change this to my primary sales order form. Let it load. And it will change to a new form. So we can key in our order date, sales order, the customer will be the same, our term based on the billing term we placed earlier. Go to the bottom, there's a classification. We can put department and class. So when we put in the classifications here, we, what we can do is to run a report based on the classification that we have created here. Now let's go down, you can see is the items that is going to ship one each and we scroll back up this is our summary uh, this summary was also in your quotation if you paid attention and what we want to do is to save it so this is our sales order 18897 Now, after we created our sales order, what we want to do is to go to our warehouse manager role. So, to the right, scroll down, as operations. Now, again, once I switch a role, my dashboard will switch based on my role. So I can see my reminders now are reminders for orders. Navigation portlet is also for orders. My fulfillment, inventory reports to the bottom, my late shipment and inventory trend. So what I want to do here is to you can either search your fulfillment from your sales order here or what I want to do now is to search it here on the A9 7 see my sales order this is called the global search so through the global search I am able to search for my sales order on the A9 7 now my sales order is pending fulfillment so before I fulfill I can get a look these are the items the yeah, the information sorry that I have keyed in earlier so you can see down here this all the information and we can go to fulfill so once we click on fulfill then you, your pending fulfillment then it would be fulfilled after this so when we click on fulfill, we will go to the item fulfillment page. It's our reference number. We can have a shipping courier, whether it's a UPS or FedEx. You can tell him where is it shipping wire which um, the next day or ground. This is our fulfillment form and status. You can choose a big pack. Or ship for this demo I will just use ship so towards the bottom you can change you can always select the address you can have multiple address but for here we do choose the main HQ for Smith supplies as well as if you have any shipping or packaging so towards the bottom we get to key in the location we Midwest and Midwest you also can use a dropship 
so if you have a dropship where you send items directly to your customers then you can use the dropship method here so let's save let's close this all right so once we save we will find we'll have our items fulfilled and when our items are fulfilled what we can do next is to convert it into an invoice now our transaction is successful it's shipped so what I want to do now again go to my roles go to controller yep I want to change role that's right let me just take this off okay so now I change my role to a controller you can see here I have a controller dashboard where you can see my reminders now are invoices overdue bills to paid my KPI is based on sales my receivables my profit and I can use my subsidiary navigator if I want to see from the HQ my KPI will change based on my navigator and of course my navigation portlets uh, there will be more for controller because I have to see the statement the payables receivables uh, financial uh, fixed asset and purchases all right so what I want to do here is actually to convert that fulfillment the sales order that fulfilled I want to change it into a bill so I can do a few ways through the global search or towards the bottom the sales order to invoice now I have the in my invoice sales order means sales order to be invoice I can see I can either filter from here or I can select my num sales order number from here 1897 but what I can do is actually my invoice is just here as you can see 1897 so let's click into this invoice because I want to invoice it give it some time to load and then we'll go into our invoice and then from there we can convert my sales order into invoice sorry actually it's a sales order we're going to convert the sales order into an invoice right so now we are at our one more step before creating the invoice we have to do this form here for invoicing again you will follow the details based on what you keep in your sales order mainly but down here there's ex some extra items and tabs where one is the items items means the items that you sell billable items bi items that you will build billable expenses and billable time which is part of the SRP module it not uh, to obtain these extra items or tabs now you can see here this is our items to be invoiced scroll up you can see our summary so a summary here is actually the same summaries that you've been seeing for all the quotations the sales order and even in the fulfillment there is this summary summary will show you your subtotal any discount your tax shipping and handling costs as well and if you need um, landed cost sorry landed cost you also can apply it here in the system so what I want to do is to save this invoice so I click on save which will convert the sales order into an invoice now you can see my sales order has been con successfully converted into the invoice all right so let's go back to our dashboard
at the dashboard what I want to do is to see my receivables here click on my I want to click on my current account receivables report so this is my current account receivable report let's go find Smith supplies so this is supplies is ASOS obviously at the bottom that's this supplies sorry let's click into Smith supplies so we can drill down even further for Smith supplies sorry I accidentally clicked on it all right so I want this say to click down to sales supplies so you see this supplies is open up here I can see my open balance so let's check it out so you can see the invoice here let's click into this invoice and then we are reached into this uh, invoice for Smith supplies so what I want to do is to show you the GL impact so actions under actions is a GL impact and I click into GL impact and you can see what's the impact on the general ledger so you can see account receivable debit 500 sales credit 500 let's click on back because now I want to make a payment so to make a payment you can go here and click accept payment click on accept payment and then we will go to the payment screen yeah well all right so this is our payment number the date that we made the payment the supplier so what we do what will happen actually is that our payment will be a full amount here 409 and we will automatically yep, take the invoice that we are paying for so we go back up our posting period because now it's November you can choose the account receivable account whether it's, this is the receivable account and then the account where the money goes to come from is the whether it's a petty cash or you know bank account so I will just leave it at the operating account for now and then you can choose the currency the exchange rate and uh, put in a memo if there's uh, any memos that's applied so you can choose the payment method as well you can see here like paypal is there any check number credit card number or here the payment relationship the communication where there's any uh, events here for example any tasks or phone calls or any files under this specific invoice so now what I to do is to save the payment so we click on save we're going to save the payment and then you will complete the cycle all right so now we created the payment again let me just show you the general ledger impact again you will go into our current asset our way and you will credit the account receivable so now just to summarize what I did I go into my sales representative role I create a quotation I change the quotation into a sales order I fulfill the sales order using the warehouse manager role after that I use my controller role to invoice the customer and when the customer pay how to make the payment now that is the summary of my leads to cash demonstration for NetSuite thank you